Hey, what's up? I'm KBHD here, fresh back from New York City in the opposite of New York City. Um, but I just got to see a little bit of something different. It's a first look at the 2024 GMC Sierra Denali Edition 1 electric pickup truck. So this is a little different. This truck is a 2024 model, so it's at least a year away. So I'm going to say that the things that they're showing me here are more along the lines of promises that we're hoping that they achieve. I'll take the tech specs with a little bit of a grain of salt. But you know what? I still do find this one pretty interesting because one, GMC is actually already shipping a different electric truck. They're shipping the Hummer EV and it's on the streets and I've seen them. But also two, this is now significantly later than the Ford F-150 Lightning, but potentially earlier than the Cybertruck and maybe some other full-size trucks coming out. So it's an interesting strategy. But I think the point is this is another very early electric pickup truck aimed for the masses, so I was curious to check it out. So let's just start with the design on the outside. I think the thing looks pretty good, but I also kind of think it looks, it has like shades of baby Hummer basically, if you squint enough, but it's a big truck, it has a muscular shape, and it's still got a lot of those modern EV touches. And I think the most obvious of those being the lights, which will play a nice little animation in the daytime running lights when it starts up or turns off. I'm kind of like a sucker for these. I like, I really enjoy when you walk up to a new electric vehicle and it greets you with a light show and then turns off with a light show. I'm a fan. But then also in the grill, uh, no regular grill needed on an EV. So with this one, they've gone with a body color sort of badge or a shield, they're calling it, with a glowing GMC logo. And then even a little glowing ring all the way around that. Kind of subtle, very GM. I think it's okay. Remember, the Lyric had this whole grill that glowed, and then the Hummer had the headlights that went all the way across that all independently animated that were crazy. So I guess GM's having some fun with these. I think this is a tasteful version. But then around the rest of the truck, you know, it's got to be a truck first. A utility vehicle still has to be functional. And I think this definitely achieves that. There is a step along both sides to get in since the floor is so high. And then this is this was a fun thing that I, I kind of had to look up to see if it was another truck because I hadn't heard of it before. A mid gate. Okay, so we know what the tailgate is, which is at the back of the truck. The mid gate between the cab and the truck bed kind of gives the truck several different storage modes. So the truck bed by itself is five foot 11, pretty standard, but then the tailgate can go down and it's load bearing. Then at the back of the truck, there's a mid gate that can open up in two different sections. And there's a pass through into where the back seats fold down. So now you have this extra long and potentially covered storage that will fit completely flat in the truck. So now combining the mid gate into the back seats and the tailgate down with the load stop engaged, now you're at almost 11 feet of flat storage. So, you know, it's not even specifically an electric thing, but I just wanted to highlight that that's something that I think is pretty cool. I was gonna suggest maybe more trucks copy this, but now that I'm seeing it's mostly in GM trucks and like the Chevy Avalanche, maybe that's something they, you know, trademarked. But anyway, the electric specific advantage on top of this is that this truck also has a pretty large powered front trunk. And there's a one-way drain in there. There's also a 110 volt outlet. So that's even more covered in locked storage. I love to see that. Plus, you know, they're optimizing for the space inside. They're moving the front seats a little bit forward since there's no engine. They're moving the back seats a little bit back to give you more interior legroom and storage since there's no engine or drive shaft taking up space. So, all right, listen to these specs. Okay, again, these are promised specs, but this thing is still a year plus away. But dual motors, 400 miles of range, 350 kilowatt charging, 755 horsepower and 785 pound-feet of torque, 9,500 pounds of trailer and capacity and zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds. Not bad. And then on top of that, there's up to 10.2 kilowatts total of offboarding power for electric power. This is basically if you just add up all the electrical outlets on the truck, that'll be a lot of power out. Like this includes the 240 volt outlet in the truck bed. There's a bunch of other outlets. There's another in the interior. There's another in the front trunk, like I pointed out. So there's enough power that you can really do some serious work. Also, this truck will support the inverter to turn around and use this huge battery to power your house. Underrated, I think more trucks and utility vehicles, but just electric vehicles in general should have this feature. And then I'm told that the 400 miles of range is on these huge 24 inch wheels that it's rocking right now, which means you can for sure get more out of smaller wheels. I was kind of talking to them, trying to get them to tell me the battery size, which they didn't want to, but then they also suggested it's about the same size as the battery that's in the Hummer EV. That thing was, I think, 212 kilowatt hours. It's also gigantic, really high off the ground, 
and really heavy. And then as you can probably imagine, this thing is gonna be pretty expensive. So the way they're doing this is they're starting off with the Denali spec, which is the highest end of the Sierra truck specs. And so that's the most expensive one. It's gonna be $107,000 for the version that I'm looking at. So there's nice leather seats in here, the metal and wood interior accents. There's a full panoramic glass sunroof that looks pretty sweet. Uh, the Super Cruise tech and the touch screens that we'll talk about in a second. But basically you get the idea. That's, that's the high-end spec. It's $107,000. And then another full year later in the 2025 model year, that's when they're coming out with the lower end versions, so an elevation spec, which is what they're calling the roughly $50,000 version. And then there's gonna be another one somewhere in between those two. So I obviously didn't get to drive this delicate one year in advance prototype, but it did seem pretty comfortable to live with. It seemed nice. So the layout inside here, there's a, an 11 inch screen behind the steering wheel. There's also a full color HUD, which is a pretty premium feature. So that's nice to see. But then there's this in the middle, a huge 17 inch vertical touchscreen with a physical volume knob and a set of switches at the bottom for those HVAC controls. These aren't working yet in the prototype, but we've seen these before. They should be very similar to what we just saw in the Hummer EV. And then there really aren't that many other switches in the cabin, really just the buttons on the steering wheel and the buttons down to the left, you know, for the lights and trailering, simple stuff. Everything else is gonna be on that touchscreen. So fingers crossed for a good software experience here. That's one of those things where I'm just gonna have to wait and see. And then in the middle, there's a bunch of storage. You know, there's a wireless charger for your phone that slides forward. There's cup holders, those slide back. And then there's a bunch more deep center console storage in between the driver and the passenger. It basically, from what I can tell, it looks pretty well thought out, which is good news. It feels like they actually learned something from the first Hummer. The Hummer EV is crazy anyway, so you can just kind of go nuts. And then they learned stuff from that and took it to this truck. Also, the, the crab walk mode is also in this truck so it's not just a hummer exclusive thing gmc is just like yeah this truck can have it too but yeah bottom line is it looks pretty cool i'm curious what you guys think this is just like a first look i got to take uh i think it's pretty clear that the success here is that this sierra electric is the best gmc sierra truck they've ever made it's the fastest it's one of the most powerful it's the quietest i would assume being electric it's also going to be the most torquey and fun to drive it also is the first one with the panoramic sunroof and there's a bunch of other exclusive electric truck features like a front trunk. So I think this is a win just in general for being a good option and it's the most expensive one. So you'd hope all that's there too. But anyway, let me know what you think. It's the first look at the Sierra. More electric trucks are on the way, of course, to compete with the few we have now. Let me know what your favorite is. All right. Thanks for watching. Birds are chirping. Catch you later. Peace.